Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss protection against arrest and detention that is article 22. Article 22 safeguards the interest of an arrestee by giving him the right to know the reason and ground of his arrest and also he has the right to consult his advocate. So in this video I will discuss the rights of an arrestee enshrined in article 22. Let's start with the introduction. Protection against arrest and detention. Enshrined in part third of the Indian Constitution, chapter fundamental rights, subchapter right to freedom and article 22. Now the question is what is Article 22 all about? Enshrined in Part 3rd of the Indian Constitution, Article 22 guarantees certain rights to an arrested person. And Clause 1 of Article 22 states that no person who is arrested shall be detained in custody without being informed as soon as may be of the grounds for such arrest nor shall he be denied the right to consult and to be defended by a legal practitioner of his choice. It means the arrested person must be informed the grounds of his arrest. Further, he must be given right to consult his advocate. Furthermore, Clause 2 of Article 22 states that Every person who is arrested and detained in custody shall be produced before the nearest magistrate within a period of 24 hours of such arrest, excluding the time necessary for the journey from the place of arrest to the court of the magistrate. And no such person shall be detained in custody beyond the said period without the authority of a magistrate. So it means the arrested person must be produced before the nearest magistrate within a period of 24 hours of arrest. However, the time of journey from the place of arrest to the court of the magistrate is excluded from this 24 hours. Next, besides, there are certain provisions of preventive detention described in clause 3 to 7 of article 22. Now the question is, what is preventive detention? Preventive detention means preventing or restraining someone from doing an illegal act. Therefore, the purpose behind detaining someone in police custody is not to give him punishment for an illegal act, but rather restrain him from doing any illegal act. Furthermore, following are the major acts legislated in reference to preventive detention. Preventive Detention Act 1950, lapsed in 1969. Maintenance of Internal Security Act, that is MISA, 1971. It is also abolished in 1978. Conservation of Foreign Exchange and Prevention of a Smuggling Activities Act, also popular as COFEPOSA. Next, National Security Act 1980. Next, Terrorist and Disruptive Activities Prevention Act, that is TADA. It was enacted in 1985 and renewed in 1989, 1991, and 1993 and it was lapsed in 1995. Next, Prevention of Terrorism Ordinance that is POTO of 2001. Next, Prevention of Terrorism Activities Act that is POTA 2002. Last but not the least that is Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. So, this is all about protection against arrest and detention, that is Article 22.